You'd think that once you'd done something 10 times over, you'd have got quite good at it. Honda will certainly be hoping that that's the case. This is the 10th generation Civic hatchback. And for this iteration of the car, Honda has completely torn up the rule book and started again. The bodywork, the platform, the engines, the suspension setup, everything is brand spanking new. In here, you notice one big difference straight away between this and the old Civic, and that is that you can actually get comfortable. The driver's seat is set a lot lower than it used to be, and there's loads of adjustment both in that and in the steering column. It's also much simpler. Rather than being faced with a vast array of dials that are stacked up in a horribly confusing layout, your instruments in this car are really nice and easy to read. Your touchscreen still isn't the most intuitive and your rear visibility could still be clearer, but both are big improvements on what went before. The quality feels solid, if not quite as expensive feeling as this car's main rival, the Volkswagen Golf. And the small windows here in the back means that it does feel a little bit dark in here. What's more, rear headroom is a little bit tight, which is a bit of a shame when legroom is so generous. The rear seats don't fold down in a particularly clever way either. Then again, you do get a nice big boot. On the road, the car feels virtually unrecognisable compared with the current car, but in a really good way. The suspension does a brilliant job of keeping you comfortable, but there's also a really alert, stable feel to the handling, thanks to plentiful grip, really crisp body control, and super sharp steering. At launch, just two turbocharged petrol engines will be available, a one litre with 127 brake horsepower and a 1.5 with 180. The one we've got here is the one litre and it is an absolute little cracker. It's impressively smooth and quiet, especially for a three cylinder and it feels really punchy and flexible right throughout the rev range. Dynamically then, the Civic has really raised its game and to the point where it will be giving the established market leaders something to think about. Yes, there are one or two little flaws in other areas, so it's not perfect, but this car should definitely be on the radar of anybody looking for a small family hatchback.